Thank you. Can you all hear me? Great. Well, uh, it is a pleasure to be here, and I, I welcome this opportunity to share uh, some best practices uh, uh, for those repair facilities here that utilize uh, the master repair software. Um, and uh, before you all go into a food coma, uh, I'd like to take the next 35 to 40 minutes uh, engaging you uh, in our products and services, which are ultimately geared towards uh, increasing productivity, efficiency, but ultimately to help the aftermarket repair facilities in this room boost customer loyalty and ultimately uh, drive service revenues. Um, and I know that some of you in this room are not uh, repair facilities, and there's a tool, uh, an application that we offer from Carfax uh, to consumers, and hopefully you'll have a takeaway uh, as well. And the goal of this session is really, uh, I'd like the repair facilities in this room uh, to ask yourselves a question. Uh, how are you growing your service business? And that's truly what I want you to think about when you walk away from here. And hopefully I can offer you, again, some tools to help you achieve your goals and objectives. And I'm going to talk to you about why loyalty is so important to revenue and some consumer and industry trends that support the tools that Carfax offers that are integrated into the, My, uh, into the uh, master repair software to help you increase productivity, efficiency, and ultimately the car counts in your shops. And uh, how easy it is to become a member of the Carfax service network. So before I get started, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about Carfax. And I want to ask the audience uh, a question. Who here has purchased a, a used vehicle uh, it, sometime in the last uh, s several months or in the last year. Anyone buy a used car? Okay, uh, you purchased a used car. Uh, Brett, um, and what did you buy, if you don't mind sharing? A Saab, okay. And where did you buy it? A dealer. A dealer, okay. And what helped you make a decision in buying that vehicle? I, I did get a Carfax. You did get a Carfax. What was on that Carfax report? Uh, history, you know, what type of history, if you don't mind sharing? So number of owners, has it been in a wreck? Um, uh, and also you said maintenance history. Did you see maintenance history on that Carfax report? You think so? And I saw another gentleman over there. The all, all the maintenance records were on that vehicle. From Texas, all the way to San Luis. From Texas to all the way to San Luis Obispo, California. And uh, was the vehicle well maintained, obviously? And did it help you make a purchasing decision? Absolutely. And that's what Carfax does. We really provide consumers with the information they seek. And today, with our national advertising campaign, we reach over 120 million uh, consumers. And they view over 67 million, or I should say they, they go to Carfax over 60 million times per year, and they view over 170 million Carfax reports. And over 85% of Carfax uh, consumers out there, they trust that brand, all right, to provide them with the information they seek to make an informed decision when buying a used car. And so I'd like to ask you, what do you think consumers want to know before they buy a used car? What do you think they want to know? Was it ever in a wreck? Or, or was it ever a rental car? Whether, they're, whether or not they're being told the truth. And believe it or not, you know, customers want to know how can they uh, be sure they're getting a good deal? Am I paying the right price? Uh, will my family be safe in this car? All right? And you know, what is the mileage on this car? How many owners? But the number one thing that consumers want to know is, uh, is has it ever been involved in an accident? And the number two thing is, has it been maintained? And from the gentleman over there, he said, you know, he had all the service records. It helped him make an informed decision on that particular vehicle that he was looking to purchase. And, you know, Carfax has been doing this for many, many years, actually since 1986. And we've collected over 12.5 billion vehicle history records. One third of those are from service departments, from the shops in this room, from car dealers, body shops, you name it. We've collected a, a, an enormous amount of data, and, and on average, you're going to find about eight service history reports on a Carfax vehicle history report. And today, there are over 37,000 service facilities in the Carfax service network participating. And some large brands out there, Meineke, Cotman, Amco, Valvoline, Midas, they, they recognize the value of having that maintenance history reported to Carfax. 
And it's not just the aftermarket repair facilities such as you all in this room and, and, and the large franchise uh, uh, aftermarkets, but also uh, franchise dealers. And over 78% of all franchise dealers send their data to Carfax. And ultimately, we have partnerships also with the manufacturers, which helps us capture recall data, which I'll talk a little bit more about in this presentation. <clears throat> This is actually uh, a map of, the, uh, of all those participating service facilities in the United States. So it really gives you a big picture, uh, you know, uh, that, that footprint in the automotive industry of where we're getting that service data. That's a lot of shops. And many of those uh, of you in this room that are participating, you're one of those dots up there. So we thank you. So how are you growing your service business? What common tools are you utilizing to get your customers uh, to, to increase revenues and to drive your customers back. And you know, common tools are loyalty programs, direct mail, coupons, service maintenance reminders. How many of you uh, that own shops here are doing those things? Okay, so you have your, specifically Mark, what are you doing to, uh, to, to get your customers to come back? Direct mail and service reminders. And you know, uh, anyone here utilizing a smartphone application? Uh, so a smartphone application for, for service loyalty. Anyone? Let me ask you this. How many of you uh, uh, have sent an email or a text message this morning via your, your smartphone? All right, <laughs> the majority of you. Yeah, so you know, that, that industry is changing, and I want to share with you a tool that Carfax has to, to help you, uh, you know, increase the, the loyalty with your customers, to stay in touch with them throughout the ownership phase of their vehicle. And you know, for years now, Carfax has been helping consumers maintain the value of their vehicle so when they go to trade it in or sell it privately, they can show that vehicle is well maintained, which helps them achieve a higher dollar amount for their car. But we also help consumers during the shopping phase. Uh, Quick question, Brett, did you go online shopping for that Saab? You did, all right, so that's how we help uh, dealers or used car dealers that are selling vehicles. We promote that vehicle history report online. And ultimately, it becomes a tool, such as the gentleman in the back, He's, it helped him make that final buying decision on that specific vehicle because he had a lot of information there to make an informed decision. And now, with the Carfax service network, Carfax wants to help the shop owners in this room and many shop owners across the country stay connected with their customers during the ownership cycle of their vehicle. But to do that, again, as a shop owner, you need to ask yourself, are you providing the custom consumers with access to the information they seek during the ownership cycle of their vehicle? And you know, what tools are you using to stay connected with your customers? And again, I talked about, I asked about the smartphone applications. And if, again, if you can be in the pocket of every customer that you service, how can you stay in touch with them throughout that ownership phase? And that's where, one of the tools that I'd like to share with you. And again, if you're not a shop owner, we're all consumers in this room. You probably own an automobile. We want to help you keep your car well maintained. And then ultimately, what percentage of vehicles are, are you retaining at the change of ownership? And that sounds, uh, uh, maybe uh, if you don't understand that question, let me just kind of set the stage. You know, for every vehicle that you service, you may have a consumer that you're servicing that vehicle for two, three, four, five years. Ultimately, they end up getting a new vehicle. Well, what happened to their old vehicle? They ended up selling it privately in their market, or they ended up trading it into a dealership it's going to ultimately be resold. And what you're going to see in this presentation is how you're receiving free advertising on that vehicle history report, which shows that you, the shop, uh, was the, had maintained that vehicle throughout the ownership cycle of the vehicle. And if it's within your local market, it's a way to capture new customers. Really, it's the same vehicle that you've been servicing, but you're going to capture a new customer into your service shop. So why, why is uh, loyalty so important to revenue? There, 
there's over 254,000 service establishments in the United States, and everyone's competing for over $217 billion in revenue. And about $62 million of uh, vehicle maintenance goes unperformed every single year. Anyone want to take a guess for a fox? Uh, why, what the number one reason is that $62 billion worth of maintenance goes unperformed every year? What's the number one reason? What do you think? Huh? They weren't reminded. There you go. So uh, they want consumers, their biggest pain points, and I'll talk a little bit about this in our research, is they just forget to have their car maintained. So how can, again, you stay connected with your customers throughout their ownership cycle of their vehicle? And you know, during National Car Care Month, and again, these are the stats that really support what we do to try uh, to, to provide the tools to you to stay connected with your customers. You know, during National Car Care Month, these percentage of vehicles failed inspection for the following. And if you're a shop owner and you provide regular maintenance to your customers, these are a lot of things that you probably do in your shops. Um, believe it or not, the number one thing was low pressure tire, uh, you know, and if you can offer your customers, let them know that, hey, every time you come into your shop, whether it's they're there for service, they can always rely on you just to come back and just for you to check their tire pressure. It builds some, some, some loyalty there and establishes a rapport and helps them keep them coming back to your shops. Again, engine oil, transmission fluid, washer fluid, all basic maintenance items that consumers forget to perform on their vehicles. And the importance that drivers place on dependability and safety today is significantly higher than it was five years ago. So they're aware of the facts that it's important to keep their vehicles well maintained so that they're safe. And ultimately, um, by them having those reminders, they can keep their car well maintained. And I'm having a delay here, so I apologize. Uh, Two-thirds of the general population also uh, report being more aware of the benefits of vehicle maintenance. So the key here is, is, again, they understand that it's important to have their car well maintained. They know the benefits. How do you keep them coming back to your shop? And the way that cars are changing with technology, the do-it-yourself consumer out there today, they can't do it themselves. They want you to do it for them because the, the, they don't have the tools or the technology to service those new late model vehicles. And since uh, 2009 up to now, you know, the percentage of the do it for me is going up. So you're, you're gaining more traffic in your shops because technology is changing and consumers just don't have the capacity or the tools or the knowledge to service those vehicles. So we talked about mobile smartphones, and um, I, I touched on it. And believe it or not, by 2015, 81% 80 per, of all US households out there, okay, US cell phone users, are going to have a smartphone. And the goal is, hey, how can you be a part of that? How can you, again, stay in touch with them? And 43% of drivers perform a search online or on a smartphone when considering where to service their vehicle. So I'm going to share with you, some, again, a tool that you can take back to your shop, promote in your shops. Uh, and w Carfax also will be doing a lot of advertising to promote that to consumers. So the mobile, while the mobile car shopping experience continues to evolve, you know, consumers today, 87% of them actually have or plan to use a smartphone when shopping for a used car. You can do it today. You can go on, on your smartphone, you can download cars.com or Autotrader and actually search for a vehicle. But while the, the car buying experience is improving, consumer Consumers' concerns during the ownership cycle continue, and they continue to ask themselves, how can they keep track of their service records? When should they get things serviced on their vehicle? What should service and repair, car, uh, repair costs uh, be? And which shops can they trust to fix their cars? You know, and the key here, again, as, as um, the gentleman over here mentioned, how can they get helpful reminders and alerts to keep their car well-maintained? So what is Carfax doing to help consumers throughout that ownership cycle of their vehicle? Well, as participants of the service network, the shops in this room will report their vehicle maintenance to Carfax, and that helps a consumer maintain their, their status that the vehicle's been serviced. But also, 
those service records get posted on the vehicle history report and they will get visibility for every shop for every service that's performed in their shops. And that ultimately helps drive traffic also to your website where you may have service coupons which allow you to promote your services. And ultimately, you can target those online coupons to increase car counts in your shop. But also, it proves that you know that car best. And this is where I mentioned, you know, what percentage of vehicles are you retaining at the change of ownership? If a customer has been servicing their vehicle at, at your shop for a long period of time and they trade it into the local dealer uh, or they sell it privately and the next consumer runs a Carfax vehicle history report, they're going to see that that vehicle was maintained at ABC Service Shop. And hopefully that'll say, oh, that's in my local market. I know exactly where they're at. I'm going to go back to them because they know that car best. And that helps you capture a new customer at that change of ownership. And then ultimately, multiple visits to your shop, again, lets them know that the vehicle has been well maintained. So my question to you here in the room for the shop owners, how are you capturing vehicle identification number when you bring a customer into your shop? Do you write that vehicle identification number or are you utilizing some sort of scanner tool? Anyone here using a scanner tool? You're using a scanner tool. And let me ask you a question. Uh, is it Jose? Um, you have to charge that application? Okay. So you scan it at, at the car, and then you have it captured, but then you have to manually type it into your master repair system. Okay. Um, and are you paying for that scanner software? Okay, it's included. All right. Anyone else here using a scanner application? You take a picture of it with your cell phone. Do you wear reading glasses? Yeah. Okay, so you need your glasses to read those 17 digit bin, like I do, all right? And then you're hoping that your zero doesn't become a, an O or, you know, you, you fat finger the, the insert into master repair and you may come up with the wrong vehicle. And so I'm gonna share with you an easy way uh, that Carfax has integrated uh, a tool that helps you capture that VIN number um, that will ultimately eliminate errors. And uh, basically, within the master repair system, and I'll share with you some screenshots, and I was talking to uh, uh, someone at my, where is she, where'd she go? Oh, there you go, right in the front row, and I missed you. You think I need r regular glasses. Uh, so, um, you know, she was mentioning they type in the VIN number, and then they do a search for a model. Well, now you can type in the license plate and the state, so no need to scan the VIN, no need to take a picture. If anything, take a picture of the license plate, all right? Or if you can see it from outside through the window, you can just say, write down the license plate. And many times what we've heard from shops is that when you ask a customer what type of vehicle do you own, they may say, you know what, I own a, 20, uh, uh, a 2010 Honda Accord. And the reality is, is it's a 2011. Um, they bought it in 2010 and they bought the new model year, they already came out. And many times, the, a lot of consumers really don't know the year of their car or the actual model. And so what this helps you do is capture that license plate, no need to write down a 17-digit long, small, tiny little VIN number. You can write down the license plate, go into the master repair system, and input that license plate. In return, we give you the year, the make, the model, uh, and the 17-digit vehicle identification number. And that helps you check the customer in faster. If you can, go ahead. Technically, we should be able to capture the personal license plate, uh, I, and I'm gonna test it, because I have a personal license plate, so I'll test it afterwards, but we receive 50 state division of motor vehicles uh, with data from all 50 st uh, states, and it's based on registration data, and that plate has to be in there, technically. And the master repair, it's not just the state with the well, I have some screenshots, we'll go through that, and that might be something for uh, the master repair technical team in the, in the, you may need an update in the new release. I'll go through the screenshots and we'll see if that state is there. I wanna say it's there, but it may be something that they just need to add there, okay? But ultimately, by inputting, uh, by utilizing this tool, number one, you're gonna check customers in faster, all right? You can eliminate the process of using the scanner, taking a picture, um, 
and it's also, it, it eliminates the, the entry errors, and it reduces errors when ordering parts. If you write down the wrong VIN number or you type in the wrong year, make, and model, you end up ordering the wrong parts. What happens when you order the wrong parts? Anyone? Out, say again? Upset customer, and you said? Delay. Delay, Delay in service. Pr productivity just went down. That car is sitting in a service bay. It's holding up, you know, the ability for you to service another vehicle. And, you know, ultimately, it's going to save you, like, on the VIN scanners, but it helps you get accurate uh, vehicle information to help you increase your car count today. If you can check in a customer faster, order the right part, service that vehicle immediately, you're going to hopefully get one more car into your service bay that day, with, which will ultimately increase productivity and also yeah, efficiency. And here's a, a, a quick commercial. Um, uh, it's not a commercial. It's actually just a... Um, uh, an accolade here from a, a, an existing customer of ours, and here's what he has to say. And I'm hoping that we have uh, some volume here. You know, the Carfax Quick VIN has certainly helped us order the right parts, you know, from the manager's perspective. It helps us get the vehicle information quicker, and it allows us to process vehicles quicker as well. If I can save three to five minutes on every vehicle and I'm servicing 20 or 25 vehicles a day, I'm saving an hour one hour of time, which allows us to get more vehicles in the bays in each of our shops. So without a question, the Carfax Quick Bin has been a huge efficiency for us on helping us increase time to service more vehicles, but decrease it while the technicians have worked on it and also while managers are ordering parts. So in one hour, what can you, how many more vehicles, how many more oil changes can you do? Quite a few. All right, there's dollars right there. So if you can save one hour a day, depending on the number of vehicles you're servicing over the course of a year, there's obviously an opportunity here to, to increase your revenues. Uh, and also customer satisfaction, because if you can service that customer faster, they're gonna be happier, they're just gonna, it's just going to keep them coming back. So that tool is integrated, and I'll show you how it's integrated with uh, the master repair. Here's a new tool um, that we have, it's called Service History Check. And how many of you take a look at the service history that you've performed on a vehicle before you either check a customer in just to see what was done previously? So you do? Your, the history through master repair. And uh, do you do that at your shops? Do you see the service history that you've performed? Would you like to know um, if that consumer had their serv vehicle serviced prior to coming to your shop and what was done? What would that help you do? The diagnostic of the problem, okay. So the service history check works, again, in conjunction with the QuickVIN feature. It allows you to type in the license plate and the state. Right now, this is a standalone tool, runs within your browser. You can run it on an iPad, all right? And it allows you to type in the license plate and the state. And this will be coming soon where it will be fully integrated with a click of a button within Master Repair. But you can ultimately, we can share with you the login where you can start using this right away come Monday if you're already signed up with Carfax. And that, again, it, it returns the year, the make, the model, but it also gives you the maintenance history of the vehicle. And unlike a traditional Carfax report where you will see the first record of, uh, that's been reported to Carfax, such as, such as when it was registered, the service history check tool, the way it works, it provides you the last service on that report first. So you may have this customer that came in with their Mercedes and you run the service history report and you see that it was last serviced at 54,000 miles. Well, the car has 80,000 miles on it. So what can you deduct from that? You could ask them, by the way, I noticed that your car was last serviced at 54,000 miles. It now has 80. Did you have any other service done prior? Now, keep in mind, we can only report what's been reported to Carfax. And so that's why you ask that question. You want to find out, did they have it performed maybe somewhere else where they didn't report to Carfax? But they may say, no, I just bought the car. Well, you know what? we recommend that you have a 75, the 75,000 or the 70,000 mile service done. And again, this is, these are, this is information being reported by Carfax, a trusted third party source. It's not you making a recommendation based on your opinion. These are facts that you're sharing with them, again, to help them make an informed decision. And so 
It helps you make a better recommendation. It helps you identify the most current service first, but it helps you find the potential gaps in service to ultimately make those better recommendations that ultimately help you increase your ticket averages. And like you said, better diagnostics, again, to increase that consumer confidence. And it also reinforces the need for the maintenance, keeping the vehicle well-maintained, the maintenance schedules of the vehicle. And again, that helps them keep them coming back to your, to your shops. And here's a, a, a little infomercial on, uh, from, uh, from actually an end user and their feedback. <clears throat> Introducing Carfax Service History Check a free application for Carfax Service Network members that helps save time and money. It's easy. Just enter a license plate, and Carfax gives you the year, make, model, and VIN of the vehicle, plus VIN-specific service history that's been reported on the vehicle. We've been using the Carfax lookup model for over a year now. Uh, I, there's not a faster way to capture uh, year, make, model, VIN than through the Carfax lookup. The Carfax service history data has been great for us. Um, the reason being, uh, many times we get a car in for the first time, it, it, it may have been serviced somewhere else, or it's a used car or something. By having the ability to look up that previous history, it really helps us determine what has and hasn't been done, and sort of eliminates some of the guesswork. Carfax Service History Check is a great tool that helps you improve customer service and increase ticket averages by recommending routine and unperformed maintenance. Membership to the Carfax Service Network is free. Activate now at carfaxservicenetwork.com. By the way, I should have started off my, my presentation by saying I'm not here to sell you anything. It's free. These services that I'm sharing with you are included as a result of your utilizing the master repair uh, software. And so this is just a flip of a switch. And so now I'll share with you how that integrates into the master repair solution. And basically on the main menu, and I, I saw many of you uh, in the, the earlier training this morning, I think uh, after this session, there's another uh, master repair session. I think Shane will be doing that. And certainly feel free to ask detailed questions with regards to the integration. I'll make sure I sit in there, maybe answer additional questions. But on the main menu uh, uh, screen, double click and open any ticket. And then from there, you click on the customer tab in the top left-hand corner of the repair order. Now, if some of these screenshots don't look consistent with what you're familiar with, it's perhaps that you need the update software to master repair. Um, and then from there, you have two options. One, enter the license plate into this uh, vehicle, uh, into the search window here. Uh, and let's see if they have the state. And you know what? I don't see the state here. Oh, so it, it, I'm, I, I'm assuming it, then it is pulling it from up here, from the state here. So that could be the possibility. So, it's, so is it pulling from there? Okay, so, so that's where the state is. And then obviously the license plate, or you can type in the vehicle identification number as option two, and then hit the, the key. And from there, that will automatically give you a couple of options. If it recognizes just one year make and model, uh, it'll populate the next screen, which I'll show you. But if there is multiple model types for that VIN, then it's gonna ask you, well, you select the engine type or the transmission type, and then from there, that will go ahead and populate the rest of the fields. What is this going to do for you? There's no error in entering that 17-digit VIN number. It allows you to order the right parts, and it allows you to, quick to check that customer in faster. And so that's the key here, quick couple of clicks, type in the license plate and the state, and you automatically get returned the VIN, the year, the make, the model, the engine type, uh, and the transmission. So ultimately, that's gonna help you achieve okay, better productivity when servicing that particular vehicle. And as I mentioned to you, somewhere down the road, and I don't know where the integration is gonna come in, and I had spoken to Shane last night, or yesterday, this was my golf partner over here. What a crazy bunch. Uh, <laughs> we had a good time. <laughs> so, uh, we had talked about the integration where we might integrate the service history check tool. And that might happen off of your existing maintenance screen where you actually look at your customer's maintenance history. And then if you want to click and see all the maintenance history that has been reported, which in this screen here, it would include not just 
service history that's been reported to Carfax, but also your service history. So you would see in chronological order all of the service history that's been reported to Carfax. So hopefully we'll have that, that integration in the, in the next relief, it, release. I, I, based on what Shane told me, it is uh, the number one thing uh, scheduled on the next release. Am I wrong? Yeah, that was this release coming out, not this one, but the next. Uh, the next one. So in a week or two? Can we hold you to that? <laughs> so, so it's in beta. So there you go. So it's, it's currently being worked on. And hopefully you will be able to take advantage, just like many other shops across the country are taking advantage of it, to ultimately help you increase your goals and their, your objectives. So one of the other new tools, you wanted to mention some? Yes, so yeah, so that's a good, uh, as I mentioned, this is a standalone tool right now that you can still take advantage of. Uh, you can contact Carfax. Uh, if you're already an existing member, we'll provide you with a username and password to log in, and you go to service.carfax.com, and that would pull up the, this particular, the earlier screen where you type in the license plate state, uh, and you hit go, and you basically get all this information. It looks, this is an identical screenshot of what you will see. And you can have that on a secondary browser. And again, you already captured the license plate, uh, and you can easily just type that into the secondary screen if you have a second browser open. So you can start taking advantage of this now uh, as a standalone tool. It will work on an iPad as well. So if you want to make better recommendations, let's say in the service drive, and you want to use an iPad, you certainly can. So thanks for reminding me, Shane. So let's talk about uh, this new app that I was talking to you about and how you, as, as a service uh, shop owner, can be in the pocket of every customer. But if you're not a shop owner and you're a regular consumer, I encourage you to, to, to hear what the My Carfax app can do for you. And again, it's about receiving maintenance reminders. And what My Carfax is, is, a, is an application that allows you to store your service history. Many times consumers, they have their car service, they get an invoice, they put it in the glove box, and they keep those receipts in the glove box. And that's their way of tracking their maintenance for their vehicle. So My Carfax is, is an online storage database. It's a virtual glove box of the service that's been per performed on a vehicle. But not only that, it will provide you with service or safety recalls reminding you to go back to either a dealership or to uh, a, a shop to have that recall taken care of. It also provides the consumer with OEM maintenance schedules. That reinforces regular maintenance. It helps attract new customers to your shop because for every customer that is signed up on this program, they get to see your shop as a, as a per participating member. And if you were the servicing dealer, you become the preferred shop on, on that uh, locator. And they can, consumers can go online to mycarfax.com and register, or they can go to the Google store or the, the uh, Apple store, and they can download that app for free. And again, this is free to consumers, and it's free uh, for you as shop owners. And here's a little commercial on how it works. You're already a member of the Carfax Service Network because you see the value of advertising on the Carfax Vehicle History Report. As an added benefit, you're now a member of the Carfax Service Loyalty Program. Carfax can remind your customer to come back to your shop whenever service is due. All you have to do is let your customers know they can sign up. You'll be automatically set as your customer's favorite shop. The service you perform is automatically recorded in your customer's My Carfax account, helping them keep their well-maintained status and bringing them back to your shop for years to come. You had a question. Absolutely. I mean, you, you certainly, uh, we can provide you with artwork where you could say, hey, let's help keep your car well maintained. I'm going to show you some point of sale material uh, in the next couple of screens that it can help you promote that to your customers, such as hang tags in the windshield, uh, uh, little stickers that you could put on an invoice. But certainly, we encourage you to promote it on your website. Say, hey, let's help keep your car well maintained. Download this free app from My Carfax. Absolutely. Great way to, uh, to, to, to promote it online. And basically, this app will enable you to reach new customers because it's going to, if you have a, 
you know, they say California is a transient state, right? You got a lot of people that move here every single day and someone moves into the area, they may already be a My Carfax uh, subscriber and they wanna look for a new shop. So your name is gonna be on that shop locator and there will also, if they're purchasing a new vehicle or I should say a used vehicle at a dealership, they're gonna see your advertising for every service that you performed on that, on that service history and that hopefully that'll drive customer to your shop. But also they're gonna get those maintenance uh, recall alerts driving them back to your shops. And as I mentioned, we're gonna offer you free point of sale material that you can put on the doors of your shop entrance uh, in your service department. And this is the key, that oil change reminder. By the way, that pop-up that you receive on your phone also comes via email. So the customer not only gets an email reminder, but they also get the pop-up on their phone. And what we're finding is that email is not the, really the go-to for consumers. Again, they're utilizing that smartphone. They'll probably initiate that request right then and there if it's on their phone, and it will allow them to call your shop right from there. Uh, and again, that helps what's in it for them. It helps them keep their car well-maintained. And so here are some uh, free point-of-sales materials. So this is a little sticker that you can put on an invoice. This is a little hang tag. And instead of sending them to uh, their, the Google store or sending them to the Apple store, you can, everyone here knows how to text, right? All right, so, and I encourage you right now, send a text message to eight, with the word service to 87767. That will enable you, it will, once you send that text message, it's going to send you a, a message, and that message is gonna say, hey, to download that free My Carfax app, just click on this link, whether for an iPhone or as a, as a Google app user. So it's, it's actually not an estimate, it's an average repair cost, okay? And that's based on demographic information, but it's not an, I, I believe they can submit a request for an estimate to a shop. That's what it is. Okay. And which zip code did you put in? The zip code here. So you're saying that the repair, the average repair cost for that is not uh, consistent with what you would actually charge. Okay. Okay. So, and based on the, the feedback that we've received for that uh, repair cost, that's coming from uh, not national averages, but geographic averages. And so perhaps I'll take that feedback back to our headquarters, find out what we can do to tweak that zip code based on geographic location. Obviously in the California market, you're gonna have average uh, repair costs higher, okay? And so thank you for that feedback for sure. But I do believe that they can request a, an estimate from a shop, okay? And the good news is, is that, hey, if, they can, if we can send you a lead that asks for a repair request, maybe what they're diagnosing in their mind might not be a brake job, okay? It might be something else completely different. And so the goal here is, is that we can initiate a request to you for a repair request, and once you're in communication with that customer, hopefully you can sell them, all right? So great feedback. And again, we'll provide you know, marketing materials. This, this is a banner that goes in your service shop, uh, uh, hang tags, and as I mentioned, you can uh, promote that they just text the word service to my Carfax uh, or to the 87767. We have some trifolds that you can put at your countertops, in the waiting lounge, wherever your customers can see this. You don't have to sell it. You can just put these out there and hope the customer downloads it. And if, you have, if you're providing them with an invoice, put it on the, on the invoice. It's just a little sticker. Say, hey, by the way, we want to remind you when your next service is. All you need to do is uh, text the word service to 87767. And ultimately, you know, Carfax, this Carfax service network, and being a member of, that, uh, of our network, provides you with tools that successful shops need to stay connected with your customers throughout the ownership phase of their vehicle. If you're not utilizing the Carfax QuickVin feature now, 
through your master repair system, I believe you can activate that service and we can, you can ask in the next session right from your settings where you can enroll right online. If you don't currently have the QuickVin feature, you can enroll right out of the master repair system. Uh, and ultimately that will also provide you the tool, which is the service history check piece, which eventually, right now it's a standalone tool, but eventually will be integrated. And also it provides you again with free advertising. One of the things that I wanna point out here, uh, if you're not already a member, and when you do become a member, we start to receive your service data. And it doesn't start from today. It starts from how many years you have archived. So if you, we download five years worth of service history, those five years of service uh, history might have a thousand, uh, I'm just gonna use just a number, 5,000 cars listed. All those 5,000 cars are not still owned by the same customer. They may have recently traded, in the, traded them in. And that's where you're gonna see that free advertising go into play for you. Because those vehicles that you previously serviced may be back in market up for sale. The next owner sees that advertising and hopefully will come back to the servicing repair facility. On that download of the Yep. Yep. So it's not downloaded to Carfax, and I don't want to share our secret sauce, but I will. Um, it's actually, we, down, we receive, I shouldn't say download, Master Repair sends us that information in many cases, and it's based on the closed RO, the work that you completed. No customer information is reported to Carfax, no, uh, custo no uh, service advisor recommendation, so you may have recommended a service but they declined it, that doesn't get reported, only what you closed out on that repair ticket. All right, so if you did an oil change, a brake job, a tire rotation, that's the only thing we're going to see. So only uh, group numbers with dollar amounts? No dollar amounts, uh, as you well, saw. I know the dollar amount's not true, but what, what specifies the description? So the description is based on the relationship with, we have with Master Repair. So we have the standard service language based on your codes, and we match that up with a standardized language that basically reports just the service information that you perform. So if you did the brake job, you did a, an alternator, you did an engine flush, whatever it may be, it's gonna be described in very standard terms. Does that make sense? Does that answer your question? If we have not been able to decode your, your codes, if you came up with your own product codes, and we may just say ma vehicle main maintenance, okay? And so what we can turn around and do for one off, if you've created your own custom product codes, we can look at those product codes that you've created and then translate them to what they should say on the report. Does that make sense? Again, if you made your own service, and I, I believe, and we can talk about this in the next session because I'm up on time, but um, you can create, I believe, in Master Repair, your own service codes for the work that you're performing. And if we don't, that doesn't match up in our system, we're just going to say maintenance performed, all right? But if you want it to be more descriptive, you provide us with those, that description for that code, and we'll populate it and change it. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. They're not printed. It all happens behind the scenes. That, yeah, the, the, it's not printed on the report. We're just going to say that the customer had an oil change, they had a brake job, they had a tire rotation. We don't want to give them information that they don't need on that vehicle history report. We just want to show the service history. Hey, Jay, I don't yeah. want to cut you off here, but Ralph is like one of our power users. Okay. And uh, he's got the coolest shop in the, in the Bay Area, I think, just because... It's the only shop where you could work on a vehicle and the floors look like ours out front. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But he is very detail-oriented. So what I'd recommend is you, Ralph, and Paul Gilster, our smart guy behind Mass Repair, have a little breakout and just ram it home, Ralph, you know? So anyway, go ahead. Absolutely. No, I mean, that, that's the feedback we receive many times is that it's only reporting that the vehicle was maintained. It, I didn't see an oil change, I didn't see. And that's because maybe you used a, a custom op code that is not standardized within master repair. And if you use the standardized master repair coding for, for a service, 
then that automatically gets translated. If you created something custom on your end, then we need that translation to be able to report correctly or more descriptively on the report, if that answers your question. Any other questions? <laughs> Just ask. That's it. Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.